Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about bookmarks in Microsoft Power BI. So let's get started. If you are new to this channel please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification. Bookmarks in Power BI is such a cool thing that we can display the data without any user interaction or filtration. That is, we can predefine the filters using the big mocks. I will walk through how to do all those things in this video. For that, you need to go to this one view tab and then click on the bookmark pen. By default, it may not be visible, so you need to tick it here. It will open up a window on the right side bookmark. The what you have filtered on this visual on this page, it is by default and for the default name is web if you want to add a bookmark you can add it here i'm just adding bookmark now so clicking on that double click you can rename it or you can even click on the three dots you can rename so i'm giving it to 2014 south region so web it is all and uh, 2014 south region 2014 here we have filtered here and in the filter pane I just want to select south so what I will do is after filtration of this one even in the headings of this visual it is given profit and sales quantity by south so right click on the three dots click on update So I have made a video on the dynamic header changes. If you haven't seen that, just click on the link given on top of your screen. Coming back to this one, I want to create one more. So click on add 2015 South. So by keeping the filter same, I want to click on 2015 in the year the visual change and on three dot click on that update so it also updated and if you click on three dots you have options like update rename delete if you want to delete you can delete it here click on add and also if you have one more option like group i'm just clicking on group it groups so i will rename it to south i will just drag and drop this one 2015 here 2014 here and i want to keep it here 2016 south so by clicking on that i want to use this option 2016 filter and clicking on the three dots click update So you have option like view here i'm just clicking on that and now it is in south 2014 so see the filter pen this 2014 south and total number of bookmarks is three because we are inside the south if i move to the next page it filters 2015 if i move to the next pen it filters 2016 south user doesn't need to click on the any of the visuals they just need to select the bookmark and the bookmarks will do the thing so exit now if you want to ungroup you just click on that you can ungroup as well you click again it will give you the four bookmarks that is the first one is the default the last updated one and 2014 2015 and 2016 south Okay, exit so if you click on again and the three dots on the right side so we have covered all these four options and you can see this data visual displays and current page all visual or selected visual i will go through one by one here the data so whenever the bookmark clicks so we want to filter the data 
apply the filter and drill through and sort state everything you want to do you have to tick there if you don't want to do all those things you just untick on that and the next option is the display apply visual display state for that you have to open the selection pane even for the selection pane i have made a video of that what are the features available in the selection pane what is layer order and tab order if you haven't seen that video please just click on the link given on top of your screen again coming back to this one i'm just clicking on the south 2016 and what i will do is on the year i have selected the year slicer i am just hiding it now so click on the three dots just want to hide this one can update so if you click on 2014 you can see the year slicer if you see on 2015 you will also see that if you click on 2016 you won't see the year slicer so this is the advantage of using the display option now if i untick this one and click on update if I click on 2014, it is visible. 2015, it is also visible. And 2016, still visible. Because I have not selected the display option, it will be visible even in the book model because the display option has not been ticked. Whatever the filters you applied using the book models, it will apply to the visual if you tick on this option i'm taking on this option here data and update 2014 visible 2015 is visible 2016 is also visible because it changed the slicer so I can click on this one and clicking on the display as well and clicking on update. So if I go to 2014, it is there. 2015, it is also there. Click 2015, it is not there. So if you tick on this one, this also applies to all the visual state, whether it has to be visible or it has to hide. Okay and switch to associate page or only the current page so i want to apply this feature only on the current page then the book mouse has to apply to all the visuals on this page or a particular visual so if you select all visuals you can it will apply to all the visual state say for example if you want to say only the selected visual um like what i will do is i'll just add so coming from the beginning again 2014 the slicer is visible 15 also the slicer is visible 2016 this slicer is visible but you have to update also this one that this slicer 2016 this slicer should be turned off. So if you click on the all visuals and apply this one. In 2016, year has to be hide and text box has to be visible and click on update. To click on the views. The 14 year is visible. 15 is also here visible and in 16 it's just visible the year not the slicer click exit so i hope i have explained well for the bookmarks the features and options available in it if you like this video please click on the big thumbs up button and share it with your friends and colleagues if you are new to this channel please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification please post your comments queries and feedback in the comment section below and also i'd like to know what are the other features you want to know about the power bi 
whether it is the Power BI Pro, DAX, or Power BI Desktop, or Data Modeling. Please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning, and see you in the next video.